morning my loves, welcome to Vlogtober day 15. I'm just checking in with you this morning because I'm on my way or off to Pilates. I feel like I got a really good sleep last night which is good so it wasn't too hard to get up. I don't know how I did it, I don't know what factors were involved but I wish I could replicate that every day. <laughs> but yes this is my outfit, nothing special. You've seen these leggings on me loads of times and I'm wearing like an ASOS is it 4505 or something? So I'm just gonna pop my jacket on and head down the road. Maybe listen to some Ivanhoe on the way, which I'm not really looking forward to. Just finished up with Pilates and um, it was, again, pretty okay this morning. As in, it was really hard, but I felt strong, which is good. Yeah, I really like that class because it's very intense, but it is 45 minutes as opposed to the full hour, which can feel extremely long. As you can see, me and Zach are both off to the gym now. I'm gonna do a run. I don't really want to do a run. And um, I obviously just did a bunch of lunges and all sorts in Pilates, so. Mm, not feeling too fresh, but I'm gonna do it anyway because that is the plan. So I'm gonna do that and then I don't, yeah, again, I don't, I still don't know really what we're gonna do it and in what order today. But I'll keep you guys updated, obviously. ready for the day. I'm sorry I haven't been showing you guys me getting ready that often but it's just not the best place for me to show you getting ready because I obviously do my makeup in front of this mirror here and the light is always comes up super yellow on camera and there's like no room to put the camera down and when I've done it before in vlogs I always just edit the footage back and I just think it doesn't look nice at all. So I've not been doing as many get ready with me's in the vlogs this year but maybe next year when we're in the new house and that's and it's something I'm gonna rectify, make it a little bit more film filmable, probably um, have my dressing table in front of a window, that kind of stuff. Zach and I have just been doing a bit of cleaning up, um, just unpacking properly, sorting things out. It's not a proper, proper one, but just sorting some things. And I found this little Huda Beauty package, which I forgot to show you guys the other day, um, of the new nude lipsticks. My camera's gonna die, so I'll be back in a sec. Um, I'm just going to show you these lipsticks guys, but obviously I'm wearing my old Unif crop. I think it's still available, so I will put it down below. I think they still do this one. My hair looks really long today because I brushed it after I got out of the shower, so it's looking quite straight. And it's looking really long. I think I probably it does need a little bit of a chop now, probably back to kind of shoulder length. I am liking it a bit longer than I used to. At just the moment, although I do like the bob as well, so I don't know whether I might chop it all back and then just let it grow out again. But I haven't decided, hence why I haven't gone to the hairdresser. So yeah, this is a new selection of matte lipsticks, I think, all in kind of nudie colours. So this is the first one. This is Game Night. I feel like I don't want to swatch them because they look so beautiful. I might do a little Instagram, like IGTV, showing you guys um, these on the lips. So this is obviously a good nude for darker skin tones um, or just like a nice darker lipstick. This one is Wedding Day. I mean, they're obviously swatching really nicely. They're very creamy mattes. This one's nice, this is like something I would wear every day. Next we have Board Meeting, which looks a bit brownier. So that's that one for those of you guys who like a brownie nude. I currently like, I'm really much preferring um, pinks, but I do kind of switch between them. Then we have Dirty 30, which looks like a more purpley kind of colour. The light in here is quite bright at the moment, so it's not really. There we go, that's probably a bit better. Then we have Last Night, which again looks like a kind of browny colour. That one's a bit of a cooler toned brown than the other one. Is that right? Mm, not really actually. I don't know. So that's that one there. Then we've got First Kiss. I don't know if I've got all of them, if this is the whole selection. That one's kind of... Again another pinky one, slightly darker, a little bit more red in it. Then we have Girls Trip. I 
which is a more kind of lighter rosier nude then finally we have prom night which again looks a bit lighter that's another one that I think it's probably one of my favorites it's kind of like a cooler pink so that's that you guys I really like all the shades actually I feel like they definitely need to be swatched on now before I can make final decisions as to which ones I'm going to keep. All right, my loves, it is time to pop downstairs. Ooh, we're very close up. Zach's just making us some lunch, which I'm very much looking forward to. I feel like I got up a million, million years ago. So, yeah, ready to eat. And I think after lunch, we're going to head to Richmond Park for a little wander around and just I'm hoping that there's going to be like some nice autumnal colours going on. I don't know whether I've missed them or I'm too early. Hopefully I'm going to be on time for them and we'll just have a little wander around, take a few pictures but yeah just enjoy some scenery and then come back later on and just do some editing and bits and bobs. So yeah that should be nice. But I don't know what Zach's making, so I'm going to go and investigate. Um, I'll show you kind of my outfit, although you'll probably be able to see better on Instagram. <laughs> so go and have a look if you want to see my jacket and my shoes and stuff, because I'm currently wearing comfy socks, as you can see. But yeah, I'm wearing this unif top, wearing these ribcage, super high-waisted kind of straight leg jeans from Levi's. They're all crinkled at the bottom and have been for ages because... My jeans wardrobe is an absolute mess at the moment. It's like one of my number one priorities when we do the clear out. So that's me outfit. What are you making for us, Zach? Kind of quick Thai curry. And let me tell you guys, it smells amazing. Oh, this puppy. Oh, this puppy. She's such a sleepy girl. Sleepy girl. This looks amazing. Mm -mm -mm. We are in Richmond Park looking for a place to park up, have a little wander around. But uh, obviously, we are also stag spotting. Um, yeah, there's lots of uh, deer around in Richmond Park, if you didn't know. Um, and it's still in London, it's rutting season, so you're not supposed to get too close to them and you're not supposed to bring your dogs to the park at this time of year um, because they are testosterone filled. But it's nice to look at them anyway. They look really impressive. It's a strange affection. It's too much to ask for. It's too much to ask for. walk around Richmond Park. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Nice to get out and breathe some fresh air, especially after being cooped up all day yesterday. So we've done that and now come home. I've got about an hour or so, so I'm gonna do some reading and then I'm gonna head out to go see my sister's GCSE drama performance, which I'm really excited to see. Um, I did GCSE drama and I remember this dress well. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go see it. Hopefully, they'll let me in, even though I'm not a parent. So, just got back from Indy's GCSE drama performance. See who she is. She didn't think it went well, but me and mum did do think it went. What? What's the word? We, we, we did. It went well. We thought it went well. 
Um, we've got pets galore here. This one's trying to steal my dinner. This one's trying to get in the cat's way. Hates cameras. It's like the cat dog's got an actual aversion to them. <laughs> anyway, and now we're watching Bake Off, as you can see. But yes, it was very good. We are proud. Creeps can do a great Irish accent. I won't make you do it on camera, but please don't. Excuse me. You can have some if you stop putting your face in my face. The worst case would be when I come to take it out, it goes. Where did he get it from? So my loves, it's post Bake Off time. I have just finished watching through the vlog that's acted. He is getting much better at um, understanding me because you should see the raw footage of me. It's usually me umming and eyeing and looking, staring off into the distance and various other really annoying things that obviously I'm used to. Anywho, and now I'm just having a look at the photos we took today and yeah, watching some Real Housewives because it's taken ages because these Leica files are enormous, obviously. Um, so it takes a while to download them and stuff. I just remember just because I was just fiddling with it just then. I've got this really big crack quite far down this nail. Look at that. Um, I'm getting my nails done by Priya next week. But I think I'm going to have to glue this for now. That's going to really hurt if that comes off. It's time to sleep. Time for bed. Just doing some reading and it's truly sending me to sleep. I am making such slow progress with the suitable boy. I'm going to get there, guys. I'm going to get there this week. Trust in me. Um, Zach's just been having a look through our pictures from our shoot. Looking good? Getting there. Getting there, he says. Okay. Well, <laughs> that doesn't fill me with joy. Time for sleep. I am getting up relatively early tomorrow for... A session with David PT session um but yeah thank you guys for watching today I will see you tomorrow for something I'm not sure what yet bye <laughs>